Now let's target the third question. Please, before we proceed, make sure you click on the subscribe button, like and share. And please, when you subscribe, click on the notification bell so that any time we post a video, you will always be the first to be notified. Now let's proceed to the question. Question 3, the theory question, the same NTC numeracy. Third question. Theory. Now this was the third question. Okay. This was the third question. Let's read. 3A. A conference room floor measuring 8 meters by 12 meters is to be covered fully with a carpet. Find the area to be carpeted. Alright. And B. A child solved the subtraction tax as follows. Now this was how the child solved it. Now the question was, what did the child do wrong? And I, I explained how you would solve the task correctly. Let's target the first question, number 3A. A conference room floor measuring 8 meters by 12 meters is to be covered fully with a carpet. Find the area to be carpeted. Solution. If it is a conference room measuring 8, 8 meters by 12 meters, then that particular conference room must be a rectangular one. Or the floor must be a rectangle. And you know, area of a rectangle is simply equal to length times breadth. Where length is the longest side and breadth is the shortest side. Now that will simply imply that we have 12 meters times 8 meters. And when you multiply 12 meters by 8 meters, you simply have the answer 96 meters squared. So we can therefore conclude that the area to be carpeted is simply equal to 96 meters squared. Let's come to the second question. A child solved the subtraction task as follows. 212 plus 169 gives the answer 157. Look at the child's solution. Critically. And guess what the child did wrong. Okay, let's focus on the question now. What did the child do wrong? Now, let's look at the solution. If you observe in the solution, the child subtracted the bigger digit from what the smaller digit, regardless of the order of what subtraction. Okay? For instance, at this place, the child subtracted 2 from 9 instead of 2 minus 9, which would have required that you borrow 1 from this side, making it 12 before subtracting. The child didn't do that. Now, in the second part, you get to realize that the child also subtracted 1 from 6, and the last one, two, uh, 1 from 2, which is actually wrong. Okay? So, in writing, what did the child do wrong? So, you realize that the child subtracted smaller digits from the bigger digit instead of subtracting the digits of the second number, that is the subtrahend, from the first number, which is what the minuend. Okay, so the child was not following the order of subtraction, simply put. Let's target the second part. Explain how you would have solved the tax correctly. Now, solution. So, if this is a question, what would you have done? So, uh, normally questions like this involve you give a step-by-step -step guide in addition to providing the solution as well. So, number one, we remove one tenth from the tenth digit of 212 and add it to the ones they is making 12 and then subtract the 9 of 169 from it giving 3. What does that mean? We remove one, this one when you remove it, it will be left with 0. Then you bring it to the ones column. That makes it to a 12 ones. Now 12 ones minus 9 will simply give us 3 ones. That is what the first step is simply talking about. You remove one tenth from the tenth digits of our 212 because you can see that this is the tens column. This is the hundreds column and this is the ones column. So you first of all remove one from the tens column 
and add it to the ones column because we cannot subtract nine from two. Okay, so that's the first step. Now the second step, you remove one from the hundred digit of two hundred and twelve again and add it to the zero tens left behind, making ten tens. That's what ten tens is simply a hundred. Subtract the six of one hundred sixty nine from the ten tens, resulting to four. What does that mean? We remove one from the hundreds column of two hundred and twelve. All right. When when you do that, one will be left, as you can see at the top. Now the one removed goes to combine with this one here to make it ten tens because it's a tens column. Actually, ten tens is actually um hundred, hundred. So ten tens minus six tens will give us what? And that will be four tens, as you can see on the screen. Now. For the third step, you finally subtract the 100 of 169 from the 100 left behind in the 212 after the removal of the 1. This gives 0. What do you mean by that? Because 1 is not left here and 1 is left down here. So 1 minus 1 simply gives us 0. Now the final answer is then 43 as illustrated above. So, this is our presentation, and I hope that you got everything right. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button, like and share this video to all those who wrote it so that they can cross-check. Perhaps. to be of use to them so that they would know they are standing in the just ended numeracy examination. Thank you for your time. Stay blessed. More tutorials will be coming soon for those of you here to write. Subscribe. Click on the notification bell. So that anytime we start uploading videos or we post any video, you will be the first to be notified. Thank you for your time. Goodbye.